What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Motorfest. So in today's video I do want to do another use this vehicle to max this class out quick and I really do think this is probably going to be like the best overall boat you can run at least maxing them out. Now similar to some of the other classes I would also say you don't have to use this boat but I really do think it is going to be better than some of the others and in some ways you can most likely use any of the boats to max them out if you wanted to like for example the 1414 Demon even in Motorfest compared to like the Crew 2 is still going to be a great overall boat but for this guys my favorite boat I actually ran to max them out completely which by the way I do actually have a chemist set for them. I also currently have a full loot digger. I also have a full scorebreaker set as well running this exact same boat the entire time so I would definitely recommend it. Now do keep in mind guys there is going to be a couple of different ways you can max the boats out. I will actually leave a tag on the screen if you are looking for like the best events to do so. Before this though the Proto WR1 is by far going to be my favorite boat. At least when it does come to maxing out the entire class if you are going after like a loot digger or maybe even like a nitro chemist. I would definitely recommend the WR1 guys. This boat is going to be a great all arounder. Is it going to be the best power boat in Motorfest? Well, I can't really answer that yet because I haven't really tested the other ones out. But I really have to admit guys, the WR1 is going to be a great boat at least if you are maxing out these classes. And going after the parts that you actually want for like summits but also these skills. That are most likely going to show up in those summits for that matter but a few things i did like about the wr1 is probably going to come down to the fact that this boat does handle pretty dang well and i would say it's going to have a nice piece of agility to it compared to something like a 1414 demon which would also make a lot of sense considering this boat is a lot smaller and it's also going to be designed completely differently than those boats as well I actually have never seen a boat like this in person so I wouldn't actually know how they do drive and I guess you could say even race because obviously it's like a race boat. It is kind of insane though how it's going to have a big chain on the side of it and you're also going to see the big engine sticking out of the back so getting up close with one of these boats would honestly be pretty dang awesome and really seeing how they actually do build and design one of these is probably absolutely insane but I have to admit guys I have basically done every event as I did mention before. And there really wasn't a powerboat event I did not really enjoy that much when using the WR1. For example guys there is obviously going to be circuit type of events with the powerboats. Where you basically have to do like 2 or 3 laps around them. And I really did find the WR1 to be a fun boat even with the absolutely insane AI. That of course really do love to run into you and basically crash into you every chance they get. Even using a powerboat they're basically going to be the exact same AI that you would see in a car. So I would say regardless of the boat you're actually running you are most likely still going to run into issues going against the AI in these events. But I really do feel like guys once you're actually in front I really don't think it's going to be as bad once you're actually away from them. But even to that point though on some of the events that's going to be a bit of a challenge. And you are most likely going to have to battle them to at least get in front of them. And then of course you should be good to go if you're actually in front of all of them. But I did notice though guys on the yacht surfing event. If you happen to pause the game and basically go back to it and then unpause it. I did notice your boat basically goes into the water like a torpedo. And that is most likely going to come down to the actual waves and like the big like storm that is going on. And I guess you could also say like the crazy wind going on in that said event. But I would also recommend being careful in some of the other events if you happen to pause it. Just in case that may end up happening once again in some of the other ones. But the WR1 really is going to be a great all around boat. I really did run this thing for hours on end going after all of the part sets I actually have. And I have to admit this boat really is going to be one of the funnest boats to actually run. Is it going to be the best boat? I will definitely have to test out some of the others. To really see how the Proto WR1 actually stacks against them. But grinding many of the boat events for hours. I was actually running the WR1 legit the entire time I actually did it. And I have to admit guys it really was going to be pretty dang fun for the most part. Sure some of the other boats might actually be better. Like for example I was noticing other boats like the Offshore Mark II being used pretty dang often when checking the leaderboards. But I will again have to test out many of these boats to really see what they can do. And now that I actually have a Nitro Chemist set I really can push them. But again guys if you really are looking for an overall boat that can actually get you the sets you are looking for. I would definitely recommend trying out the Proto WR1. Not only is it going to be insanely quick it also handles really well. And I really do feel like it's going to be a great boat that you can actually run to max out this class. I do want to mention by the way I will also be doing videos on the plane class coming up in the near future. 
I, of course, have to go grind out that class here next after finishing the power boats. That is also going to be a very interesting time, but do stay tuned, guys, for the best way to level them up. And also my favorite all-around plane to get them maxed out as quickly as possible.